So the time has come once again to have a look at MCD Save Edit by Cutflame. Now uh, I've touched on it before, done a video um, and it's been updated quite a lot since then. Now if you want to get your hands on this it is done by Cutflame's Patreon, you have to pay for it if you want exclusiveness to it for a few months I believe and then he releases it on his github and there's also on github you can download the source codes and stuff like that so if you want it <clears throat> unfortunately you have to pay for it but for pittance really it's probably worth it even if you just pay once and then end the subscription but anyway let's get into it and have a look what mcd save edit does so we double click on it we need to load it up uh it does this thing where you can't see it. It does this thing where the Minecraft Dungeon Save it. It's just loading. It's just loading your recent thing. What we'll do is I'll reset it and then we can go from there. So when it's loaded up, it looks like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, relaunch to change. So this is when you the game's changed and stuff like this. So you need to find your um, dungeon's location. So that would be where the pack files are. Now mine is in C, Xbox Games, Minecraft, Dungeons, underscore one. I don't know why it's got the underscore one, but anyway, it has. Uh, content Dungeons, Content Packs. Now, um, that's for the Windows Store version. Obviously, Steam will be slightly different. I think I have got Steam, so that will probably be in the Steam, Steam Apps folder, I guess. Um, and then there's the launcher version, but I think that might be the same as the Xbox Games now because they sort of combine, combined the two, if I'm correct but anyway that's what you need to do you need to get the latest version of your game that you're running i've got um other pack contents from very many uh, versions of minecraft dungeons and i could load different ones in but i want to do my current save and stuff like that so we need the current path so we find the path and then we press ok and then it goes off and it loads it again so that's what it done just a minute ago when you couldn't see it so, you know, it finds all the um, armor properties, the equipment, the levels, the localizations, and everything. And then it kicks in and goes, boom, here we go. So, your, your grace with this screen here, it doesn't tell you anything. There, there is some information on GitHub about it. Um, I haven't really looked around on the Patreon to see if there's any information on how to use it. But it's it's quite powerful. It It's better to be used offline than online. So, with that, I mean... Don't use it when the game's running. I wouldn't only use it when you're you're out of the game. <clears throat> I would also make sure you back up your saves just because you never know what might happen. You can corrupt things and stuff like that. So use at your own risk and have fun. So what we need to do is we need to open your character save. So if you haven't got a character save, you're going to have to make a character. And then you're going to have to open your character saves. Now, mine are in um, save games, Mojang thingy. So it's in my C users save games, yeah. Um, it's here. And then we have to go characters. And then we've got these four characters. Now I have four characters. I have my main character and then I have a character that I just muck around on to turn lots of bits and pieces and I've, for some reason I've got another two and I, I don't know why but anyway I'm gonna do this one here now if you went by the date modified that would show you the last one you saved so if you're unsure which one your current character is go and play the game and quit out and then come back here and the one that's been last edited will be the one to use so that's a nice little tip to get your current character so this is my last edit character, which I know is my fun to play have all character. So I'm going to click and open this. Now there's a lot of data in this because I filled up my chest. I filled up my storage. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's not, not too bad. There we go. So it loads up like this. It's got all the images that you'd expect to see. It's got your current level. It's got your power. It has all your items that are available to you in game with all the illustrated images, even the new items that you probably haven't even seen yet. So we've got the Hungerous Horror and we've got the Bonehead Hammer. They are coming in the new update in a few days time, so look out for them. So we have our gold level, sorry gold, emerald level up here. We can change this to whatever we want. We have our gold level here. We can change that to whatever we want. We have our ender eyes. Some reason I've got six ender eyes. I don't know why. Um, I don't think you can change the um, enchantments. They sort of work themselves out of anything and the way to go. We have our equipped items here. We have our level, so we can put our level up if we wanted to. We can not change our power because our power is um, done by the items that are equipped, not the items in your inventory. You should know that. 
And then we've got all the items here again. We can't sort them like they've put in game at the moment. All we can do is, um, God, I just, uh, I think I just lagged out there. Go by the different types and things that there is available to everyone. Yeah, that makes sense. Good. Right. We have, so what we do is we can click on each one of these and it will load it up on the bar, bar on the area on the right. So let's uh, let's do this one here. So this is my mace. My mace is level 163. Let's put that uh, uh, 300. For some reason that's going really slow. I don't know why the blinker's not really going slow. We can change it from common, rare, unique. We can make it new, which means it comes up a little uh, flag. Um, we can have upgrade and we have gifted. I believe there's a new one. I can't quite remember what it's called. Custom. I think it is and that's when you go to the enchant smith that's not been included we can also add a gilded enchantment we um click on that to just so you can click the cross there you click on the, the a checkbox and it will load up like this we can then go into this and let me bring this over this will come up like this and it will show you all the enchantments i don't think it's uh, specific to the item so therefore if you have a non-soul item you shouldn't really be able to add um, a soul so wears on it, but you can. So anyway, I'm going to add critical hit to this because everyone likes critical hit. So it loads in there, critical hit, and then you can change the level. And I'm going to put the level to three, so that's maximum. We can duplicate it, we can delete it, and we can transfer storage. Now I'm not really sure what transfer to storage does, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Down the bottom here, it's um, you should recognize it, it's your enchantments. So we can change, add and remove enchantments. So to change the enchantment, you click on your enchantment here and then we click here. And again, the box will load up with your enchantment. So I'm going to change that to what should we change it to? What should we change it to? I really don't know. Let's change it to uh, gravity and melee. And then I'm going to put that I'm not going to put that on. No, right like that. So that's changed. And then this one here is blank. So there's no enchantment. So I can click on that. And then I can. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We can change sharpness. And we're going to change sharpness too. So it keeps on going over there. I don't know why. It just defaults to, I think, where it loaded up. I'm going to change it to shockwave. Pretty sure I clicked on that one. But maybe I didn't. This one here. That one there. Okay, all right. And then this one's going to be, I don't know, cooldown. All right, there we go, cooldown. So as you can see, we have three enchantments now. And we can do the same for each one of these and then go from there. Um, I'm not sure there is actually a way to remove them once they're added. Doesn't seem to be, but I don't know. Can't quite remember. It doesn't seem. See, that one says pain cycle, but I clicked on... I want to say it says unset. I don't think you can un unset it, which it doesn't really matter. Who cares if it's there or not there? So that's your weapons. So you can change your weapons and you can change the um, uh, ranged weapons in the exactly the same fashion. Now, armor. Armor is slightly different. We get the uh, Hungarian Horror up. It's unique, gifted. We can add points here. So we can add the um, traits that we want so we click on there click that and then we got traits here so we can add all any all there you go, pet, pet bat everyone likes a pet bat and then you can add another one so i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a pet bat and beekeeper to it we can then make it gilded again and we can go through and we can click on these down here to to make it to our liking as still seeing the enchant smith because enchant smith is rather expensive so that's weapons armor and now enchant um, artifacts so the artifacts is pretty much the same thing but you don't have any enchantments on them all you have is a level we can't add any traits to them but we all knew that anyway so that's your inventory the same is for your um, storage chest once it loads i've got so many items it's unreal so same for your storage chest you click on an item and it loads here and you can change it as an as you see fit it's it's quite simple so what we're going to do is go back here and we go file and we're going to go save so i've just overwritten overwritten what did i do i did oh i did this one so we go find that in the game in a minute and then 
we'll see what it's like. We've also got stack counters. So here's the stack counters. We can change these as as we feel fit. It's entirely up to you. I have never played around with these. Um, don't know if there's any point, but it tells you mob kills and everything like that. What you've killed, what you've not killed. Here you go, uh, mushrooms. I've killed fifty-two thousand of them. I'm sure some people have done absolutely crazy amounts. Um, zombies, see. But I'm sure other people have gone absolutely nuts. But you can change this to what if you want. If you want, I don't know if it would do anything in game. Um, there may be um, daily quests where you need to kill a certain amount of mobs. Maybe by changing them, I haven't done it. Maybe by changing them, it will come up and go. You know, you've you've done the uh, daily challenge now. I don't know. It might be worth a go. But I don't know what daily daily um, daily quests I've got, so I can't really say. Right, so that is that. Don't forget to save it. I'll do it again. So that's the game pack. You can change it to different languages. He's got quite a lot of languages on there. I only need English. I can't really understand anything else. And then the about here. So you can buy him a coffee. You can donate to him. And you can do the beta versions on Patreon is basically what I've done. It's got all his things here. So there's a GitHub. And there is his, I don't know what that is, some link to something else. Um, so the version we're using, just in case you need to know, is 1.5.6.1. So I've saved that. I am now ready to launch Dungeon. So let me load it up and get into the game. Right, so I've loaded up in the game. Um, straight into my inventory. And we can see we have our mace here that has the... What we modded basically so it has the um god oh, i can't think i'm too tired tonight it has the gilded enchantment that we set it has these here that we set and it i think we put the level up to 300 because you can't actually get level 300 i don't believe rare gilded and then we also have the hungry solver that gives you a pet bat and summons a bee so that's worked quite nicely we've also changed our uh, emerald count here and our gold count um like i said the enchantment points don't really matter it's, it's a few and far between. I don't think we've done anything to this one, but as you can see, you can edit the stuff in game and like that. See, it's there. And then my new Hungarian Horror is here, so I'm power level quite rubbish at the moment. So if I quit out now, I should have a pet bat. There you go. So that's worked. So it's a different way of getting things into the game other than using Cheat Engine. Some people don't like Cheat Engine. Uh, some computers don't like Cheat Engine. So this one is a separate way of doing it. I would personally do it off game. You could try it in game, but it might make you save up even more. So it's probably not worth doing it. But that was a quick insight into the new the new um, MCD save editor. Now there is one other thing on here that I haven't touched on and I'll do a separate video on that because I figured some people might want that differently. And that is the tower. So in the previous versions that I've had, there was no tower. Um, um, he's implemented the tower and you can do some quite cool stuff in it. Definitely helps you out and can progress you quite quickly through the tower. So anyway, there it is, MCD edit in a nutshell. It's really simple to use. It's quite easy to grasp and it's not too bad. So hopefully you've liked that video. Don't forget to go get your Patreon subscription to Cut Flame and uh, say thank you because he's obviously spent a lot of time doing this. And I have to say that the video is not endorsed by him. I've done it off my own back because it's a good program and you need to know how to use it if you want to play in this style. It's entirely up to you. You play how you feel free. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.